The next encounter, you'll be facing Atrax-1 and his replicants. So when you first begin, you'll be brought into an area, and you'll notice that the area is divided up into almost three zones. Again, similar concepts, right, middle, and left, that you've added to other parts of the raid. You're going to have your teams split up into, three, into two teams, one in the ground area and for with three people, and one in the space area with three people. There's also a glowing wisp you'll notice in the middle, and you'll also notice that there's some elevators. Those will come up in a minute. The glowing wisp you will not want to use until you're ready to start the encounter. Once you start the encounter, the three people on the ground are going to obviously stay on the ground, and one of the space people are going to stay on the ground as well. We'll get into that in a second. The two people who are going to space will, again, if they can go invisible, that's great. Just make sure Atrax will be there at the very beginning and you don't want to be killed. So have them maybe kill a couple ads and then immediately go up into space. When they go into space, they're going to, and which is one of the coolest things in any raid ever, they're going to want to split up into right and left and start killing ads. The ground team and the one person that is from space that's in the ground are going to kill all the ads, including the servitors. Once the servitors are killed, you will have one vandal show up that'll have, again, it'll have the operator symbol on top of it, kill that, and the per other person from the space team is going to pick up that operator and then go up through the elevator. At that point, once the operator gets on the elevator, they're primarily going to stay in the middle and stay near the elevators. We'll, we'll talk about that more in a second on why. But the again, you can continue to kill ads, and then you will see a scanner show up on the space area, and you'll want to have one of the people on the team pick up that scanner. So now you're going to have an operator and a scanner both in the space area. One of the things that's probably important too, just to get timing correct, is we don't kill all the ads in the space area until the very end, and there's a reason why. If you look at this map that I'm about to show you, you'll see that they're the boss spawn areas that are both in the ground team and the space team. Obviously, you'll see the Atrax folks that are already in the room, but what you don't know of those replicants is which one you need to kill. Only the scanner can see that once all the ads are killed. So what you're gonna wanna do is, again, wait till everyone's in position. The scanner typically wanna have them somewhere towards the center on the space area, again, so you can see all the replicants, and then kill that last ad. And then what you're gonna notice is that one of the replicants is gonna grow, is gonna glow yellow. At that point, the scanner's gonna call it out and everyone head to that area. Now, the DPS on this is very, very tight, so you're gonna want people to head in and you're not going to want to hit the replicant until everyone's there. If you are running out of time, because you'll, you'll you'll wipe if you take too long, if you do run out of time, go ahead and start. Doing some damage is better than nothing. But ideally, you want everyone to get there. And because of the short duration of DPS, what we typically use is Lament or Swords or things like that. That's typically the easiest way. And do as much damage you can during that time period. And you can either use debuffs like a bubble or you can use you can use tether or things like that if you have the time to do it once you do enough damage you're going to notice that the replica disappears once that happens the person with the scanner immediately is going to take the scanner and send it back down to the ground area the operator continues to stay in space and there's a reason for that once you send the scanner back you're basically going to do the same thing in the ground area and what you're going to do is basically you're going to identify which replicant it is and everyone do damage and then you're going to do that a total of four times before everything resets and you kind of have a lull period the other thing you'll probably have noticed is that when you killed one of the replicants you'll notice that there's a little wisp that shows on top of it a little like ball Someone on the fire team has to pick that up. If they don't, the replicant will actually respawn and wipe the fire team. What you're going to want to do is the operator typically in space, you're not going to want that person to pick it up because the operator is the only person that can shoot that debuff off of characters. So you're going to want to make sure if possible towards the end of the DPS when you're hitting them, if possible, the operator should kind of hang back a little bit at the very end so that they don't pick it up. If you do pick it up for some reason, it does get complicated. You can potentially use ricochet rounds and things like that to shoot it off of you, but again, it does get a little complicated. So try not to do that if possible. So you pick up that de that buff, and the debuff is going to have a 42 second timer. And you'll notice on the screen that there are four airlocks that you can basically shoot that out of. What we typically do in the interest of time is we wait until two of those debuffs are accumulated. So there'll be one in the space room, then you kill the replica on the, on the bottom area, right in the ground area, they'll have another replicant that'll show up. When that replicant debuff shows up on that character, you'll send that character up to space so that they can, sh they can basically deal with it. One of the things the operator also has to do is during this encounter, sometimes when you bring the elevators up, then there aren't the elevators aren't down there. So potentially you could run out of elevators for people to come up to the space area. So the operator every once in a while is going to have to shoot the elevators to send them back down. 
So at that point, you'll have the operator go to one of the airlock areas. The operator will then have the two people stand near the door. You pick one, you tell them which one, and they shoot the door that opens the door. The two people with the, the buffs go into the door and then the operator shoots the buffs off of them, sucks them out in the space, and immediately the people who got the shot off them have to get out of the doors. If you don't, you'll, you'll die also. So again, we do that, and you gotta, you gotta be tight about this because while this is all going on, you have scanners and everyone trying to identify additional replicants, right? So as soon as that happens, the person who got a shot off from the ground team needs to immediately head back downstairs, right? Because you're again, you're gonna have this whole cycle of trying to cycle through that, identify the replicants and kill them. So you do this a total of four times, okay? Space, then ground, space, then, then ground. Once you do that, then you get to a lull period. Now, if you've done a DPS, you'll go to final uh, final stand, which I'll talk about in a second. But if you do it four times and you haven't done that, you'll go into a lull period where you just kill ads and everything else, and then you repeat the cycle again. Once you complete that cycle a second time, if you haven't done enough damage, you will go into a final stand. So it's important to do as much damage as possible. Once you go to the final stand phase, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need everyone to come to space. So it's very important the operator continue to send elevators down and you'll have everyone come up into space and you'll the scanner at that point, there'll be like an unlimited number of Atrax that show up in the, in the space area. It seems like that. The scanner is gonna tell you which one to go to. Everyone in the fire team will then follow and start hitting that one. I, it'll be kind of tight, so people will start getting freaked out and start trying to kill different replicants. That will wipe the fire team if you do that. So it's very important the scanner find that first one, go ahead and kill it, and then depending on how much damage you have left or the timing, you may have to kill a second one. So the scanner is constantly gonna have to be looking at all of those so that people know which ones to kill. Once you complete that, that's the encounter. So again, really fun raid uh, with the changes coming in with weapon crafting. I figure people are gonna wanna get into this again. So I wanted to give you advice from someone who's done this quite a bit of time on how to do this with the updated meta and the updated understandings people have gotten over the years versus when the raid first came out. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, join my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.